A question of great interest is how does the dynamic shearing resistance of metals respond to changes in pressure and applied strain rates? This important question in the dynamic material characterization field and others could be addressed by this technique, which also mitigates several experimental variation sources that are present in the conventional approach. Though this method was designed primarily for investigations of high temperature compressive and or shearing resistance of materials, it can also be applied for studies such as dynamic sleep and spall. The gas gun at Case Western Reserve University is single stage with a 6 meter length and 82.5 millimeter bore. One section houses a custom modification to the gun for this experiment. The modifications are represented on this schematic. A heating system mates with the existing gun barrel so that the sample held at the front of the custom heat-resistant sabo can be heated to desired temperatures in excess of 1,000 degrees Celsius. Additional modifications are at the target chamber end. There, a photonic Doppler velocimeter probe precisely measures the velocity of the rear surface of the target plate. Trigger and tilt diagnostic signals come from the voltage-biased pins on the front surface of the target plate. The first step is to create the sample and target for the experiment. Create the samples using high-purity polycrystalline aluminum. The equispaced holes are for securing the sample. Now, check the surface flatness. Place the sample in contact with an optical flat, then position the two.